I'm here now with Jack Scala from Fully Charged Live. Thanks for joining me, mate. I really appreciate it. Hello, Electric Chris. I very much enjoyed our chat yesterday on the Giga yeah, Theatre. it was awesome, wasn't it? It was awesome and yeah, yeah. super packed out. I mean, all the talks have been busy, but that one I feel like was, um, if not to toot my own horn, but I think probably one of the most popular discussions of the day yesterday. Yeah, I agree with you, absolutely. And look, we had a conversation around, is Tesla ahead of the curve and can they be caught? And uh, there's some interesting uh, commentary in that. What, now, you didn't get to really have your say. What, what do you think? It was so fascinating to hear a real spectrum of opinions from four Tesla experts. And um, I think the, the, the thing we all agree on is the legacy of the brand. You know, what this one brand has done to contribute to the acceleration of EV uptake is undeniable, mm -hmm. immeasurable, yeah. will never be repeated. Um, the Elon Musk discussion got a little bit spicy, didn't it? He's yeah. an increasingly polarizing figure. And again, I think we're all agreed, obviously genius engineer, obviously this kind of maverick innovator. Yeah. As far as whether he's good PR these days, mm. I think that, uh, personally, what I want to see is Tesla become more boring. Sure. I just want them to quietly make lots and lots of really good electric cars. Great. I want less Elon in yeah. the news, yeah. and I want less gimmicks. I worry that the Tesla brand is afraid of the opposition catching them up and is l l relying on sort of attention grabbing features like the the silly steering wheel in the in the model s yes. to generate buzz when in fact all the buzz they need comes from the phenomenal efficiency of their drivetrains. Exactly. Not as sexy and interesting, yeah. but super important. And I think that there's enough there for their cars to still stand out and have a, you know a real compelling reason to buy one. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was interesting. It was interesting. I've been told off before for being too critical of Tesla, and I think I'm the correct amount of critical of Tesla. I just yeah. think people get unusually mad when you talk about that one particular brand in well, a certain they, way. They can, they can, they can. Right. So, you know, look in my own videos. If ever I'm critical, I always feel like I've got to defend that decision. Where in actual fact, it's like fundamentally, the example I give people is like the glove compartment. There's no button for the glove compartment. And Elon's all about first principles, and you know you you have to do two button presses to open the damn glove compartment, right? And if you are doing a software update, you can't get into that glove compartment. That's that's uh, it, it's, it's like, not ideal. Not ideal. Not, not ideal. ideal. Not I ideal. suppose in the name of kind of spaceshipy futuristic feel, there's yeah. going to be a few niggles here and there. Yeah. But um, yeah. but yeah, what what, the, what those, those guys have done. Exactly. But, for us, I don't think this show is here in, in this size, in this scale, in 2023, if it wasn't yes, for Tesla. Absolutely. And this is a thing, right? Do you think they'll be caught by, let's say, BYD? BYD? I, I'm not, I wouldn't claim to be an expert on BYD because we don't have them over in the UK. Um, Elliot raves about them. He's covered the seal, the dolphin, and the atto for us on the channel. The seal yeah. looks awesome, by right, the way. Yeah, okay. uh, I feel like I'm the only person at the show that hasn't driven the atto three. It's yeah. super popular over here. Yeah. I think he was saying to me they build is it a hundred thousand cars a month they sell in China alone? Yeah, yeah. It's just like this that. monster yeah. brand. So it's about one point two million. Yeah. yeah, those Chinese brands are coming, and they're coming fast and in huge volume. Yeah. Um, and I think that's probably. Uh, that's the story of the next 10 years of, of um, the motor industry, exactly. is, the, is the rise of these Chinese brands and yeah. the decline of some of the legacy car brands that have not done this seriously enough or quickly enough. By this, I mean transitioning. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, I really appreciate what you're doing here and thanks for coming down under. Thank you, dude. You know, I know it's a long flight. <laughs> it's a crazy long flight. I, I want to be here every year. <laughs> I wish I was staying for longer. I'm completely in love with this city. Yeah, beautiful. Well, it's good having you and thanks for coming on. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.